everyone! Welcome to episode 60 of the So Not Scary series. In today's episode, we're going to diagnose why your mini sewing machine is not working and why the needle of your mini sewing machine might not be moving up and down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So here you're looking at my mini sewing machine that I've just opened up. And if you want to know how to do that, just watch uh, this video and also this video. And those videos will guide you through opening up your mini sewing machine very quickly, very easily. Um, and there shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. But um, really the reason why I'm showing you the innards of the mini sewing machine is not to scare you, but to actually familiarize you with what the system looks like and actually you yourself can diagnose the problem that you're facing. So previously um, in the first uh, video that I did about opening up and fixing the machine, we fixed the problem of the bobbin being out of sync with the needles movement, okay? And we fixed that. So first I kind of broke my mini sewing machine and then I remended it in front of you and you figured it out yourselves. And loads of people have commented after that they fixed their mini sewing machines after watching that video, okay? Uh, so today what I wanted to talk to you about is the upper mechanism. And I'm getting comments from people saying that even though the power is coming through and the hand wheel is rotating, the needle, which is right here, is refusing to go up and down. Okay, now right now my mini sewing machine works perfectly and I don't want to deliberately break it uh, because these mechanisms look rather delicate, okay? But I've inspected them up close and actually it's a lot simpler than it looks okay so let me just walk you through there are just three main connections that you need to be aware of and once you know where they are and how they work i'm sure you can self-diagnose and rectify the problem that your machine might have okay so right there at the bottom where my skewer is touching that silver kind of like a cylindrical thing that's the electrical machine or the motor that runs the whole show okay so when you switch on the uh, machine and when you press the power button or the foot pedal that silver cylinder gets electricity generated inside it and that electricity then powers some gear mechanisms okay now the first gear that it turns and let me just lift up the machine to show you is actually a tiny little one right at the back okay where my skewer is touching that's a very first little gear okay that little gear okay then drives this big gear okay now this big gear actually has uh, two connected parts they're all part of one single piece of plastic this big flat plate that you see and then this little uh, protrusion uh, underneath which is also a gear this is all part of one plastic piece okay so all of this is one gear so that's the first connection the small gear powering the big gear that's connection number one if that connection breaks um, the machine's not going to work. So even though you might have power coming in, your needle's not going to move. Okay, so if, so check that connection first. Then let's see what gear this uh, one is moving. So we go up the shaft. Okay, it's connected to another gear. And look, that gear in, is then connected to this one. So if this connection is broken, once again, your needle's not going to move. Okay, because these gears work together. So if I turn this, do you see this gear is turning this gear okay so if this connection is broken again your needle mechanism is not going to work so check that then okay so checkpoint number one is this one one and then two and here's the third checkpoint so this is quite fascinating actually uh, when i turn the hand wheel and the thread pickup lever goes up and down Obviously, if there's something wrong in this mechanism for the thread take-up lever, obviously this isn't going to work properly and you will have tension problems. But for the needle not moving, the actual problem might lie in this third point, which is right here. Do you see this flash of silver? That's actually a screw holding or grabbing this shaft, which then moves the needle. So let me turn it this way. And now you'll be able to see that screw, okay? this screw grabs this shaft which is then connected to the needle okay if this screw is loose it's not going to grab the shaft so even though all these connections might be working perfectly okay the shaft is not going to move accordingly okay so you need to check the third point here okay and that's bearing in mind i'm assuming that the thread take up lever is not broken 
okay? So three points you need to watch out for. Connection one for these gears, connection two for these gears, and connection number three, which is this screw. Check all these points, okay? If the connections are all there, then there is no reason why your needle shouldn't move up and down. But if any one of these is out of sync, then your needle's not gonna move up and down, even if the power is coming through. I hope today's short video will help you diagnose your machine's problems yourself so that you can resolve the problem yourself confidently without being scared of all the mechanisms which lie inside your resetting machine, okay? So yeah, make sure that you grab a number one screwdriver or a small screwdriver and get going, open up your resetting machine and figure out what's wrong, okay? Because it's such a cheap little machine and it opens up so easily, don't worry too much if you make mistakes because that's how you're gonna learn, okay? So fiddle around with it, get to know it better. Um, and if any gears have slipped out of place, just pop them back together, okay? Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon, bye.